Sometimes in Scotland, you've just got to seize the day. And when those bluebird days come along, you've just got to get out and try and enjoy them. And that was certainly the case on today's adventure. Although you wouldn't have thought it the night before when I drove up in the sleet and the snow to my parking spot. It certainly wasn't looking like it was going to be a bluebird day at this point. Anyway, here's me in the van explaining where I am. Right, hi folks. Yeah, I've got the fan heater on, if you can hear it. It's about 10 o'clock. I've not long arrived at my camp or park up for the night. I'm doing a hill tomorrow and I came to park here because we're not at the start point for the walk because you can't park there because there's some houses. But from this point here, I was hoping to show you the hill, which should be snow capped. But as you'll see in a minute, things haven't gone quite to plan. Let's just go out and see, see what's happening. Oh, all right. Well, I don't know if you can make anything out, but uh, <laughs> it's actually snowing. And the hill that I was going to be going up is over. I'll spin you around in a minute. There we go. I don't know if this will show anything. I'll let you get my torch out. <laughs> yeah, it's not there, but it's... <laughs> away! Oh, crikey, over there somewhere. So, yeah, it's a bit... Uh, bit snowy and not seeing much, so, uh, yeah. <laughs> right, hold on a minute. Let you spin you around. It's a bit wild around there. Come back here. I know. So yeah, I'll not be showing you the hill unless this snow clears. But um, it's kind of going off for a wee while at the moment. I'll report back in the morning and hopefully I'll be able to show you the hill that I'm hoping to go up tomorrow. But for now, I want to get back inside the van because it's bloody freezing, and I'll see you tomorrow. Good morning. It's not quite as windy this morning. I've just come out of the van. It's quite nice, actually. I think it is going to be a nice day. Anyway, I said I'd promise to show you which mountain we were going up, and I can see it now, so... There's the moon up there. Let me spin you around, and I shall show you. There we go. That's where we're hoping to go today, to the top of this hill right here. Doesn't it look just lovely? Right, I need to get along to the bottom of it. I meet Jerry and Mark, who are going to be joining us today, so... Yeah, let's go. We'll report back when we're ready to start the hike and it'll probably be... Oh, the sun might be up. <laughs> Put it that way. Right, let's go. So I had the bite to eat and then headed into the van for the short drive up to the starting point. And after a, a wee bit of time and watching the sun come up, Jerry and Mark joined me and we got our boots on and started heading up the hill. But it was pretty apparent pretty early on that we might need the spiky things on our feet. It was very, very icy. George and Terry was one of them. Oh, a good morning. And it's the uh, terrible threesome again today. That's it. We've it's got the... Me and Jerry and a mute, the, mute Mark. The fair, the fair liath war, the fair liath war. <laughs> yeah, well, uh, you, can, you can be that. Uh, I've not got enough hair to, to yeah. be that, so... As you probably saw, many of you will have recognised where we're going and we're on the slopes above Bridge of Orkney, so reveal all, Jerry. Well, for the fans of Duncan Van McIntyre, the mighty Ben Doran. Ben Doran, <laughs> yeah, so we're, we're heading up. It looks like it's going to be one of those beautiful winter days. There are a few clouds kicking about, but... It's yeah, well, it's, nice. a, it's, a, it's a good short day for us. Um, and the other reason for coming is get a look over to the crags on Berendoe, the few routes that we've done up there, yeah. Salamander and Centigrade, Centigrade and Farrah and all these things, and to see if they're in condition because there's a lot of ice around, but not much snow. No. And the ground is bulletproof, isn't it's it? Solid, it's so. just, yeah. you know, if only it was permafrost rather than <laughs> exactly. temporary frost. <laughs> Shall we report back when we get into the snow Let's line go. and we'll On give you some more views? But you can Onwards. see the, the sun, I don't know if you'll make it in the camera, the sun's yeah, just starting to catch the black light. Beautiful. Getting a bit steeper now, a bit icier, so we're going to get our uh, crampons on here. Get them set up, make things a bit easier for us. I'll put my big ones on because there's a wee bit of snow and the micro spikes don't like the, the snow because they don't have any anti balling plates. So, big ones on. So, this is the first time I've had these on 
in about two years, believe it or not. I'll tell you more about that as we're going up. So with the crampons on, it didn't take long for us to appreciate them on our feet. The path was really just one big slither of ice from this point up to the Bielach, and we trudged our way up. It was lovely though, the views behind us were great, but we were looking forward to trying getting into the sun a bit higher up. Anyway, before long, we were approaching the Bielach, where it was time to layer up. Oh, so we've come to the Bielach. And we've been hit by the easterly breeze and it's a bit cooler, isn't it? It's cold. Yeah, uh, get another layer on here before heading up. It's up to the, the right of your picture is the top of Endoran. As I said, this is the first time I've had my spikes on. Because so, two years ago there was Covid and then last year I knackered my knee, so it's nice to have them back on my feet. Oh, I tell you what, it's a bit chilly. Big jacket on. <laughs> Oh, let's go. Get the gloves back on. At this point, the wind was fairly brisk and it was certainly making us feel cold. It was freezing and the sun wasn't showing any signs of appearing. There was a layer of cloud across the top of the mountain. It was a bit frustrating when we could look back at the other hills and see that they were cloud free, but we had faith, the forecast was an improving one, and before long we were reaching that cloud layer. I must also mention Duncan Ban McIntyre, who Jerry mentioned earlier on, whose most famous poem was Praise of Ben Doran. Anyway, through the cloud we went, and we were aware that this mountain has two summits. One big cairn, which is just before the main summit. So if you're coming up here on the clag, just remember to go a wee bit further on to get to the true summit. So this is the, the first top, and today we can see beyond it to the true top. I wonder how many folk, eh? I have been up here. I've come here and thought they're at the top. Not been able to see it. Just a wee bit further on, so we'll crack on and we'll report back at the top. Let's go. Oh, and there's the top. Yeah. As you can see, you've got to drop down a bit further to get over to the main summit, so don't make that mistake. What a day, though. Right, let's go. Here you go, summit. Then Doran. Cheers, Jerry. Well Good. done, well done, Murray. Well what? done, Mark. Cheers. What a day, eh? Cheers, Mark. Good. Hey, we're going to go and get a wee sh a shelter spot, although the wind's dropped right down, isn't it? It's Beautiful, lovely. isn't it? Absolutely, Absolutely idyllic. Yeah, it's, it's clarity is fantastic. Right, we'll go and get, let's go and find somewhere down here and we'll yeah. report back to you when we're having our... In the sunshine. What have you got for your lunch today? Oh, now that starts off. That's, I've, you know, I've got a Scotch egg because I'm, they are better than pork pies. And I'm if you goodness. like pork pies, surely you've got a pork right, pie. This cannot be about pork pies. <laughs> this, this have is, you not got a pork pie? This, this could be a, a whole can lunch. of worms. <laughs> Oh, all oh, the reveals. Oh, yes. <laughs> this is just stunning, isn't it? Some more down here, I think. Here we are. What a spot. Lunch here. Yeah. Seems like a plant. Right, so lunch time. I'll tell you what, surprise, surprise. I've got again Tesco's finest Scotch eggs. And if you remember in the last video, there was a big debate going on about. Scotch eggs are pork pies, and Jerry's are very much a pork was, pie aficionado. The, the thing is, I was going down the road the other day and I saw this blinding light. Right. And I had to get knocked off my bike. And ever since then, I've been a Scotch egg man. Oh, have you? Yeah. Oh, really? So there I we mean, go. It's been so, a, a oh. Damascine conversion to Scotch right. eggs. But, all right, I'll, uh, you know, you, you're honest about it, you know. You've I'm switched your, You've switched allegiance from yeah, yeah. pork pies to Scotch eggs. There's one of us here who... Please. Tech... What? Tex what? last night, Scotch. Yeah. He's got both. He's, he's got sitting both. on the fence. He's a flip flopper. <laughs> he's, he's got no spine, this man. At least I'm not dogmatic. I know. You've, that got, you've got a pork pie as well. <laughs> what? what? <laughs> How cut? Cut. Enough. Enough. <laughs> this is good. So you cut to 
a few corpses lying in the snow. <laughs> Blood everywhere. Yeah, man. So I think today Scotch eggs win. I think that's the synopsis. <laughs> Right, and there's Jerry. Jerry's going to give us one of his famous 360s. Well, you're not getting a 360, you're getting a 180 because 180, right we're, on the, we're on the western flank of Ben Doran. Um, and so we've got an arc, 180 degree arc. So we're going to start looking almost, well, almost due south from where we are. You can see the bulk of Ben Lomond there with the ridge dropping to Ptarmigan. Can you get that, Murray? It's just kind of at the um, seven o'clock position to the sun. Yeah. <laughs> yes. And right under the sun, with the sun reflecting off it, is Loch Lomond. And then to the right of that, you've got uh, a Croy is the nearest one you can see, but the biggest one is Ben Vorlich with the ridge, with all the, the ridge of the little hills dropping off it. Uh, and I think the flat top one beyond that is Ben Narnane. Uh, and then if we come round in the nearer foreground, you've got Ben Austin, Ben Ducraig, and then you've got Ben Louis, which is the most prominent Strong. one. And then if we come to the right of Ben Louis, and in the far distance, in actually about the 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 90 degrees of our, our arc, are the Paps of Jura in the yeah, distance, and I don't know if they'll show never show too on the wide angle. Yeah. But you've got parts of Jura clearly okay. visible. Can I move over here? Sorry, have that. Okay, dokie. So we're now in the northern arc. The northern half of our, our arc. And we've got Loch Awe running away from us there. And then, I can never know how to pronounce this, but Ben Unich and Ben Ashokal. Uh, and then the most prominent, obvious peak is the Tain Oak Peak of Kruachan. Middle of the picture, yep, then uh, round. And then to the right of that, with some cloud on it in the far distance, again, I think your lens might not pick it out, is Ben Moore on Mull. And then we come round, and the most prominent thing that we see is Starav, uh, Ben Starav, yep. at the, the end of Glen Etiv. And then Ben and Ian, and then come round further to the north to Stubcorry and Albanach, the peak of the Corrie of the Scotsman. It's a fantastic name, that, isn't it? And then... Mel the noon, and then we've got a very nice shapely peak, which is the peak of Stob Gower, the peak of the goats. Middle of the picture, the again. upper Kilwar, just to its right, and then further round from that, well, in the distance you can make out the Bidgian, and I think the the pointy peak on the Bidgian that we can see is Stob Corry Scremach. Yeah, yeah, and then the foreground nearer is is Stob Corry Odea, the rounded top below uh, Stubb Gower and then beyond that we've got Clacklet, Creesh and Melavuri, the ski, the ski hill yeah. and then just above Mark's head is the mighty Ben, Big Bad Ben, Ben yeah. Nevis and to the right of that Carmore Jerig and then it goes round and just as it disappears behind the boulders are the grey corries and round it goes. So not bad for half a 360. Not bad, is it? Yeah. Fantastic, right. Good, good. Good stuff. We're just taking our time here. Will we get ready to go? Yeah. You mean the number of times we've been blown off a hill, <laughs> are, it's a struggle for survival. This is at least, you know, Fantastic. fun. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant, right. Cool, though. Super. Onwards. Quick look back, not left anything. Having enjoyed our Scotch Eggs and Jerry's 180 panoramic tour, we decided to head off. We'd spent quite a bit of time here. The wind had dropped down to nothing and it really was quite pleasant. Although your fingers were getting a bit cold when you lingered without your gloves on. Time to head back down. So we've just come, we'll come down, we just thought we'd stop and I'll just get you guys in. Just to say that there's hardly, there's hardly, I will get you in, you can't hear, can hear you. But there's hardly any wind, is there? And it's not it's often. Beautiful. It's not often that happens. It's one of these days where you've just got to go out and enjoy it because I think <laughs> if you waited for the weekends or for these sort of conditions, you'd be waiting a long time. It's been absolutely glorious. Yeah. You can see it's, it's turned out crystal clear. You can see down at Loch Tula there, and it's just fabulous. You can see from one side of Scotland to the other, can't you? Fantastic. Bitterly cold, though. I mean, minus, I don't know, maybe minus five or six or maybe more on the summit there. You take your gloves off for a minute and your hands are frozen. You know? Frozen, so, yeah. So I'm going to report back down at the van later on, but uh, it's just lovely. Let's give you one last spin round 
down yonder there's, do, 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 do. there's Jerry's face, there's Mark's face. <laughs> and, <laughs> and there's East face. There's the East face. <laughs> <laughs> right, report back later. Let's go. Right, you just come back. I've actually just come back to the point where I started the video. As you can see behind me, you can now definitely see Ben Duran. It looks absolutely fabulous. Uh, just doing some footage here, which you probably saw at the start of the film. But anyway, just a quick overview of what happened today. You've got to take these days when they come around. It was it, the forecast changed, and uh, probably about two days ago, and with there being a wee bit of snow, still winds, blue skies, crystal clear views, it doesn't happen that often, especially at the weekend. So you sometimes just got to. Just go for it and uh, change our plans, which is what I did today, and what a trip that was. But I think the biggest revelation today is that Jerry does actually secretly prefer Scotch eggs. What do you think? <laughs> anyway, what a day, what a hike. Time to get back down the road. The, the light is not lasting long at this time of the year. We're almost at the shortest day, so yeah, it's about 2.30 now, and you can see we're already in the shadow here, so time for me to shut up. Thanks very much for watching. As always, please stay safe out there, and I'll see you. Next Wednesday for another adventure, right? Homeward bounds. Ooh, after a port pie. <laughs> <laughs>